I got drunk at my wedding and made out with the best man. Girl, what? My husband and I got married two months ago. Girl, two months. My husband's family is Christian and they are very strict. My mother-in-law chose my wedding dress. During the planning of the wedding, my husband had his best friend with him at all times. And during that time, I caught his best friend staring at me several times. Bye. Every time we caught each other's eye, we would just stare at each other for a few seconds and then look away. The night of our rehearsal dinner, he came up to me and asked me if I was stressed. I responded by saying yes. Then he offered me a drink. My husband doesn't really like me drinking, so we went to the bathroom and took shots together. It was actually really fun and exciting, and we both hit it off that night. If you're wondering if I felt guilty, no, I did not. We ended up drinking three shots each and he almost kissed me. At least I got the feeling. Too much blush? The attraction between us was palpable and when I looked down his... Oh my God. His thingling was hard. <laughs> Our wedding was the next night and I couldn't stop thinking about his best friend. As I was getting ready for the wedding, he came and knocked on my door while the makeup artist was doing my makeup. Oh my gosh. And said that I looked so beautiful, he couldn't believe it. That's when the makeup artist asked him to leave and said, the groom can't be in here. That's when I said, that's not the groom. That's my husband's best friend. Oh, damn. The ceremony goes off without a hitch and we go to the reception. This is where it gets juicy. My fiance and I had practiced a dance for us to do for the guest, but he refused at the last minute. I instantly get upset at my fiance, walk straight up to his best friend and ask him if he wants to dance. We get up, start dancing and instantly my husband gets up to dance with his cousin. Ew. Ew, what? Why is he trying to dance with his cousin and not his new wife? That's when all the guests jump up and join us on the dance floor. After 30 minutes of dancing, he takes me by the hand, the best friend, takes me by the hand and walks me outside. Suddenly we're alone and he kisses me. The butterflies in my stomach went crazy and we couldn't stop making out. Luckily, nobody saw us. We went back to the party and pretended like nothing happened. Oh girl, something did happen. After spending two weeks in Greece with my husband for our honeymoon, I was completely unhappy. A little background, we had only known each other for a year before we got married. We had never even traveled together at that point and he was being an absolute nightmare. After we got back, I decided to hook up with his best friend and we did it. We've been having an affair ever since then. I asked my husband for a divorce, but he won't give it to me because of a visa issue. What should I do? In my professional opinion as a story timer here on TikTok, I would say be honest with your husband, say to him that you don't wanna be with him, they'll be happy with the bestie. Travel with him before you get married. Everyone leave your advice in the comments. I love you guys, bye. My boyfriend is threatening to break up with me if I don't agree to a three, a threesome? My boyfriend and I have been together for two years. When we first met, we were so compatible in every single way possible. Not so much, babe. He started a new job and he's been cold and distant, so I figured it was just the stress. As we were about to start having, you know what, doing the dirty, he asked me if I've ever had a threesome, which he definitely knows I have not. So him asking me was an excuse to even bring it up. Duh. I said, of course not. And he said, would you ever want to? I quickly said, no, I would never want to have a threesome. I don't want to share you. That's when he rolled his eyes and said that he wasn't in the mood anymore. I told him he was being selfish since he was the one that had initiated and that he should at least help me finish. Then he said, not until you consider having a threesome. Girl, manipulation 101. He did not speak to me for the next three days. I finally asked him what was wrong. He said that he really wanted to have a threesome before we got married. That's when I asked him who he wanted to have the threesome with and he said, a girl from my job. We all saw this coming, right? I instantly started to cry because I had a feeling that he had met somebody at work. Then he said he wouldn't talk to me until I stopped crying and behave like a grown woman. Well, that's rich coming from a grown ass man who just gave you the silent treatment for three days. He then pulls out his phone and shows me a picture of her. Oh my God. Then he said, look at her in a bikini. She's got such a great body. This is especially cruel since he knows that I've been trying to lose weight for the past year and a half. And it's been really hard because of my thyroid. <sighs> That's when I took his phone away and started checking his messages. He freaked out. Of course he did because he's probably texting her. They followed each other on Snapchat so I couldn't see what they were sending each other. When I checked his Instagram DMs, their messages were pretty innocent. What if he deleted the messages before he showed you her pictures knowing you might do that? You can't assume that the messages were innocent, babe, sorry. When I came out of the bathroom, he called me a crazy bitch, which was the first time he'd ever called me any name. That's when he told me that he should have just cheated behind my back instead of offering to have a threesome as as a courtesy to me. At this point, we were moving together, but he asked me to move my things out after two days. 
He said he wasn't ready to commit to somebody who's not open to having fun and doing new things. That's coercion. He can't force you to have sex with somebody. In an effort to stop him from moving me out, I said yes to the threesome. He got so excited, he texted her immediately and said, it's on. A few days later, he asked me to go get waxed. Waxed? The night of the threesome arrived and she came over in a red dress. As soon as she saw my boyfriend, she jumped into his arms and they started making out. Went into the bedroom and immediately they started ripping each other's clothes off. It's like I wasn't even there. That's when she grabbed my hand and pulled me onto the bed and started getting me naked too. My boyfriend came over to me on the bed and started kissing me, but that's when I got up and I couldn't do it. He said, you guys go ahead, I'll leave. My boyfriend got so mad, he kicked me out. Just two days later, I get a message from the girl asking me to go on a date. What? During the date, she apologized for my boyfriend's behavior and said that she didn't realize he was coercing me into doing it. Then she said she was actually more attracted to me than my boyfriend because she's more into girls. Oh my God. That's when she leaned over and tried to kiss me, but I pulled away. <laughs> I told her I was in love with my boyfriend, that I was not interested in her like that. That's when she broke my heart and told me that he was flirting with all the girls at her job, not just her. And that he had already approached one of the other girls at their job to have a threesome, but hadn't told me yet. Should I accept this or should I just move on? I definitely think you need to move on. Someone who loves you is never going to try to coerce you into having relations with somebody else. Do you realize how wrong that is? What do you guys think? Drop your advice in the comments. I love you guys. Bye. I f***ed my personal trainer while my husband was home. Oh my god. From the day I met my husband, he would fat shame me. What is he, an Adonis? Made out of muscles? He's always complained about how I have a soft body and wants me to have abs like all those insta- insta models. I'm not the type to keep my mouth shut, so I told him to get me a personal trainer. We've been married six years now and I've never bothered to go to the gym, not even one day. He likes going to the gym religiously and is in really good shape. So what? That doesn't mean that he gets to fat shame you, ever. I was actually joking about the personal trainer, but he actually agreed to it. He told me that he could only get me a male trainer, but he thought it was okay because he was a very good trainer. Never did I expect that this guy would turn my life around in the best way possible. Yes! By the way, I'm not even looking into a mirror right now. I'm reading off my cell phone. The trainer came over the next day and I was embarrassed to see how hot and attractive he was. We sat down and spoke for about 20 minutes and he asked me all about my goals. <laughs> I know I must sound stupid. No, you don't. But getting the attention from such a hot guy made me feel seen again. Babe, that's because your husband doesn't make you feel seen. Now, here's the thing. I felt like he was attracted to me too. He kept staring into my eyes and would smile all the time. I was trying not to misinterpret things since he is so attractive and he probably smiles at all his clients, which he probably does. But then he started putting his hands around my waist, my shoulders, and my arms. I know the difference between a man's touch and a trainer's touch. <laughs> oh my god. This was a man's touch. We were working out in the backyard and that's when my husband came over and said he was leaving to run some errands. We finished the workout session and I was super sweaty. It was amazing. This man proceeded to stay with me for the next hour and a half talking about my goals once again. Wait, that's so sweet. Two days later, he came over for our second session and that's when shit went down. In preparation for our second session, I drove myself to Lululemon and bought the tightest leggings I could find. I would do the same. I even bought the matching sports bra and wore a two-piece set for the first time ever. Girl, you go. Luckily, my husband had already left to the gym, so we were all by ourselves. As soon as my trainer came in through the door, he complimented me and told me that I looked amazing. A few minutes into the workout, I couldn't help myself any longer, and I asked him if he was attracted to me. Damn! He answered yes right away and we both started blushing and laughing at the same time. Now that I managed to break the ice, I would leave him to make the next move. And he did. He stood behind me while I was doing some squats and I felt it. God. Girl, I want to live vicariously through you so bad. I turned around and we started making out passionately. As we were kissing, his hands started moving elsewhere. North and south. My knees were trembling. Yeah. My husband is not the most affectionate guy, so I was in much need of some loving. When we stopped kissing, we started laughing again at what we had just done. Two minutes later, I hear my husband coming home. We quickly separated, but the next day, it went further. This time, my husband stayed home and we couldn't keep our hands off each other. My husband tends to lock himself in his office when he's looking at corn. And as soon as my trainer came over, he locked himself in his office, which means you know what. I knew it was our chance, so I grabbed his hand and took him to the back house. He pulled my pants down and he went at it. Then I pulled down his pants and I went at it. And then we did the dirty dirty. As soon as we finished, we went outside and pretended like we were just done working out. Which you could believe because we were both sweaty AF. <laughs> It's been two months since I've been working out with my trainer and it's going amazing. I've managed to lose 10 pounds. I look amazing and I feel even better because every time he comes over, we end up doing it.
My husband, on the other hand, has no clue and I don't care. He still continues to fat shame me, by the way. And he continues to show me pictures of girls on Instagram who he wishes I would look like. I'm pretty sure he's having an affair with his assistant. At this point, I don't care. I'm hiring a divorce lawyer and I'm getting half of everything. Well, as you should. Should I feel guilty? I don't think he should find out that you're cheating because then you can't get half of everything. Maybe I'm totally wrong. Tell your husband about the trainer after you get a divorce. I mean, I'm sure he's going to find out anyway. Go live your best life. Get in shape. Do the dirty. Do whatever you want to do with this man. But be careful with your husband. Love you guys.